Welcome to the only daily research news video report, Research Business Daily Report. Well, we're sponsored today and this week by Socratic Technologies, whose proprietary tools and methodologies tackle marketing complexities so that you can make more confident business decisions. Vision Critical Managing Director for Asia Pacific Peter Harris writing on marketingmag.com.au said that technology is nudging market research in directions it didn't think it needed to go. And technology is, quote, also turbocharging the need for data transparency, end of quote. And the importance of that, Harris asserts, is going to grow and grow. Quoting Harris, I see the next two to three years in Asia Pacific being about mobile and consumers, customers, people walking around collecting data passively for brands with permission, end of quote. Harris also peered beyond that short-term group, visualizing bigger long-term disruption from a mixture of technology and transparency, but he said he welcomes that. Suppliers, providers, and legislators, he says, will share responsibility to make greater transparency a priority. And summing up market research's foreseeable future, Harris opined, quote, we are in the middle of a customer revolution, and if market research doesn't embrace it, we will be made redundant in business, end of quote. Next, the Mobile Marketing Association has formed the first Mobile Location Data Accuracy Group, and its goal is improving the trust and confidence of brand marketers and agencies in the data that's used for mobile location advertising. MMA is also kicking off a Location Leadership Council. It's going to bring together thought leaders from some of the MMA's committees, along with location experts in marketing, technology, data, and policy. Moving on, we said last week that RBDR would be devoting significant more time and attention on corporate utilization of analytics. And today we welcome one gigantic insight that embellishes the point that corporations are in something of a catch-22. By that I mean they want to do more and more with their data. They're committed financially and strategically to make analytics a core of their decision making. But so far, it's really not working out. Kudos to 4i consulting managing partner Eugene Reutberg, who told the publication Consulting, quote, one of the biggest concerns of functions that for 10 years have been buying lots of insight and analytics tools and processes is the level of activation and usage of their insights to drive decisions, end of quote. Reutberg says that a 4i benchmarking study of 37 companies is showing that only 32% of insights from analytics are being translated or leveraged by management to actually make decisions. That's disappointing for sure, but it becomes a nagging aggravation when it also means that 68% of all analytics funding and resources have essentially been wasted or elected by companies not to be used, or worst of all, not of sufficient quality to be trusted. That's your Research Business Daily Report sponsored by Socratic Technologies, whose proprietary tools and methodologies tackle marketing complexities so that you can make more confident business decisions. Please check out SoTech.com to find out more about this terrific company whose capabilities are really at the top of the heap. Have a great research day, and we'll see you again here tomorrow.